Number 15. Indicate the most important type of intermolecular attraction responsible for solvation in each of the following solutions. And then we have methanol, which is CH3OH, is being dissolved in ethanol, which is C2H5OH. Okay. So, whenever you have a substance that is being dissolved into another substance, the smaller one that's being dropped into the bigger one is the solute. And the, the substance that is the larger one that you're, you know, that you're dissolving something in is called the solvent. And together, the methanol and the ethanol will make up the entire solution. But in this case, we just have to find out the, the most important type of intermolecular attraction between the methanol and the ethanol. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write these down, CH3OH and then C2 H5OH. Okay, cool. So, um, the easiest way to go about these types of questions is just listing out all of the intermolecular forces that the methanol has and all of the intermolecular attractions, intermolecular forces or attractions that ethanol has. Then, the most important type is generally the one that they both have in common, right? The maxed one that they have in common. Now, I, I wrote down all the forces uh, for covalent compounds down here. You got dispersion, which also may be called London uh, forces, but they're the same thing. Uh, so you have dispersion, you got dipole-dipole attractions, and you got hydrogen bonding. The, uh, the way that this is written for you guys is that the dispersion forces is always the weakest. And then the hydrogen bonding, if you have that, that's the strongest. So it goes from the weakest to the middle to the strongest. Now, all ions are, are ionic compounds, covalent compounds, all molecules have dispersion forces. So that's nothing specific. That's why it's one of the weakest forces. So since we just literally have substances here, these will both have dispersion. So dispersion and dispersion. Okay, now I go on to the next one. Does methanol have dipole-dipole attractions? Well, only polar molecules have these, right? And if we remember our acronym SNAP, S-N-A-P, the polar molecules are always asymmetrical. So no symmetry. So we can draw the Lewis structure out, but maybe we could kind of do like a quick inversion, right? Especially if we see a molecule and if we just try to cut it down the middle here, I mean, this is clearly not symmetrical. You have an oxygen and a hydrogen on one side, right? You got carbons and hydrogens on another side. There's no, you know, oxygens on the left side. So this is clearly asymmetrical. This is polar. And if you do have a polar molecule, you will have dipole-dipole uh, attractions. So we'll put dipole-dipole down here. And now we just have to do the same for the ethanol. But if I, you know, if you want to make a line here, it doesn't really matter. Because the idea here is that on one side, you're going to have an OH. And the OH is not on any of the other, on the other side, right? So whether you want to block it off here, it, does, it doesn't matter. But just to show you that you only have one OH, where is the other one going to, you know, cancel out? It's not. So this is also a polar molecule. But remember, you could always draw the Lewis structure out just to fully see it. Um, so this would be also a dipole-dipole attraction. So now the last thing is, do they have hydrogen bonding? Now, hydrogen bonding are very, very, very specific. That's why it's the strongest. Hydrogen bonding can only happen between molecules that have an NH, an OH, and an FH, right? And in methanol, there's an OH. And for ethanol, there's an OH. So they both have hydrogen bonding. Hydrogen bonding. And the OH is also hydrogen bonding. 
So both of these, the methanol and the ethanol, um, they have all three intermolecular forces. But the question is, which one is the most important type? The most important type is always going to be the strongest that they share. So since um, for methanol you have hydrogen bonding, and for ethanol you also have hydrogen bonding, that is the most important type of intermolecular force. But let's just say that one of them had hydrogen bonding and the other one didn't. You cannot say hydrogen bonding. The next best thing would be, okay, maybe if they both had dipole-dipole, then that would be the answer. So just watch out on that, okay? All right, so hydrogen bonding it is for this one because they both have it. Let's box it off. Let's color it in pretty and be done. Okay. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. I hope you're having a great day out there. Keep studying hard. I'm rooting for you on your tests and quizzes. And tell your classmates, tell, this, tell your friends about this channel. Um, the quickest way to do well on your classes is to practice, practice, practice. And that's why we got thousands of videos for you guys out there with, you know, a whole chemistry course, a whole physics course. We got a lot of math problems. So just keep doing the problems and come test time, they're going to be probably very similar problems. <laughs> so I hope this helped and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.